Hi everybody. I wanted to come on and share a haul with you guys. I actually went back to a Joann's to pick up a few things um, that I needed. I wanted to go back and grab a few more of the Minnie Mouse um, paper. I've noticed that, I don't know, I don't think Michaels or Hobby Lobby sells Disney paper. I have only seen it in Joann's and they don't you know, they don't have a big selection of mini mouse um, paper, but I did get a few extra, so I'll see. My niece is turning one next month, and her mom is doing, you know, a mini mouse theme. How She's doing, I think, the baby. Well, maybe it's not. It's more the pink, I don't know, first birthday mini. Um, so I told her I would make the favors and maybe make a few, like, little rosettes to kind of decorate a little bit um so this is the only paper and I think I don't know no I don't think I shared this one in my previous video this is the only Minnie Mouse that Joann's had you know the image of Minnie Mouse so I got a few sheets of this and if this is you know don't turn out the way I want it to turn out I can always you know just go with the colors of Minnie um so I bought some pinks, you know, as well. This one, this is actually a really pretty, this is a textured pink polka dot paper. So I don't know, when I put the favors together, I will come on and share with you guys. But I did get some of the mini. And I also bought some of these. I don't think I shared these. If I did, I apologize. Um... But I bought two packs of the mini shaker stickers. You get eight in a pack. I got them. And then I bought four of the Bling mini Mouse Bow. So I'm going to see what I can do with these. And again, I'll come on and share with you guys. All right. Let me plug this up before my screen just went black. It better not have cut you off. Let's see. Are we still here? We're still there. All right. I bought a paper pad from the first edition brand. This is Perfect Moments. They only had it in the 12 by 12. It was a really pretty paper pad, especially if you're into like shabby chic. And of course, this brand, the cover came off, um, has different textured paper. Oh, I might as well just take that off. So these ones are like a fabric texture. And I think you get two, three. You get three three sheets of this one. And this one is a fabric as well. I'm not sure if the prints are coming through. And then this one is a pearlidescent. This one is so pretty. A floral. Like this one. I actually like every, I think every paper in this one. I like to get my hands on a 12 by 12 of this one. A lot of lacy florals. There's a uh, music notes. I like the pink florals in this one. Alright, so these ones are double sided. make sure I'm in focused. This one I like too. It has a polka dots on the back. Little hearts. Yep, so I thought that was pretty. That and I might as well let me share these and just kind of get them out of the way. Tim Holtz has foiled paper pads, and this one is a metallic jewels. These are nice to have, you know, on hand. So I'll just do a quick flip. 
you know, some of these colors you can't find. <clears throat> this is, I don't know, pink, purple, and then the black there, and then the Metallic Confessions. Those are really pretty pink. You know, my favorite pink foiled was from Hobby Lobby. I think it was a Love Nicole brand. Yeah, I can no longer get that foiled paper, but it was so pretty. So yeah, you guys pretty much, that purple is really pretty too. So I got both colors. I did go back for this too, the alcohol blending solution. If you watched my previous video, I bought the brush pen you have to fill it with, which I thought already had solution in it, but it didn't. I went ahead and got the seven inch scissors from Tim Holtz. I have not owned a pair of these um, since, you know, I first started crafting. And I mean, these are good scissors too. So I went and bought those. I was happy to see these. And, you know, some of this stuff may not be new. I just never seen them or purchased them. This is the Distressed um, Paste. So you get three different um, paste. You get the matte textured paste, the crackle textured paste, and then the translucent um, grit paste. And I never used these two. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see what I can do with those. And I like that the jars are small. Um, yeah, I usually buy these individually. All right. I also bought some of the alcohol inks. And there's tons of different colors in these. I bought two of the inks. Yellow, orange, purple, and then pinks. And this one is a rosewood. So I got those two. And then I got one of the alcohol pearls. Pinks, green, and purple. So if you use this one, I never heard of the alcohol pearls let me know in the comments. It's supposed to um, create a pearlidescent. So I got them. All right. I got the blue alcohol markers. These are the Spectrum Noir. And then the reds. I got the little fish with bubbles, uh, fancy dye from Hero Arts. Um, Joanne's just stocked on a bunch of the new Disney planner books and all the goodies, accessories and stickers. Everything is all so cute. Um, the only thing I got was two sticker books. I got the Disney Princess. Now these stickers, a lot of them are larger. Um, so cute. These would, you know, be perfect for any paper crafting, but, um, you know, like uh, scrapbook layouts. You know, do a princess theme. These would be perfect for just that. And it has different colored foils in them. So they have all the Disney princesses. And so just do a try to do a quick flip. That was cute. There's so many. So I got that one. And then the mini and Mickey. This one is really cute too. And mini. I love the clear stickers too. You don't necessarily only have to use these for planners. You can use them in all, of course, paper crafting. Look how cute Mini is. Red foil. There's a lot of cute one I'll show you in a minute. It has a little animal print towards the back. Look how big these are. I'm going to show you Mini back here. She is so cute. And it has the rose gold foil, create your own magic. 
like a silhouette. So pretty. What does it say? Love yourself from bow to toe. How cute is that? Mini. So stinking cute. So I got those. I also, they had sequin packs from Park Lane. Mine was pretty much picked over, sold out. There was a very little. In fact, this was the last pack of the iridescent butterfly sequins. And those pretty. And then the triangle blue. Now, the sequins I use for making shaker cards or shaker tags, anything shaker. I got them, and then I bought two more of the emboss embossing powder. These embossing powders, guys, is so pretty and good quality, too. And it, the brand is Imagine, so I got the Sparkle. I just want to share the packages for those who are interested. I'm not a fan of the packaging. And then the iridescent. All right, so they have these. And if you watch my videos, they also have these colors. I just put the embossing powder inside the, you can find these at Dollar Tree, little plastic con uh, containers. They also have the black hologram, the gold glitter, and the hologram. So I embossed those. I'm going to share with you guys quickly. I just want because I didn't write on uh, the paper, which they were, so I didn't want to get confused. And hopefully you can see these. Um, and I have to be honest, I'm not a big fan of glittered embossing powders. I have some from Recollections. Maybe it's just a chunky glitter. I just don't like how it's look when you embossed it because the glitter don't melt, or at least the chunky glitter don't. And it looks like it's just kind of laying over your image. Um, but this one is the sparkle. And when it, you know, hits the light, it's so pretty. And then the second one is the black hologram. Love that one. And then this one is the iridescent. That one's really pretty, too. And the third one is the hologram. Love, love, love that one. And the last one is the gold glitter. Hopefully you guys can see them, but I really like this embossing powder. I think it's really pretty. All right, so there's them. And then I recently bought um, a few from Hobby Lobby, and I embossed them just to show you guys as well. So this one is, and these are from Ranger. This one is Bubbly. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, taupe, beige kind of color. I like it. And then this one is the... Garden Patina. And this one is the red Geranium, if I'm saying that right. And this one is the Rose Gold Glitter from Recollections. That one's really pretty too. So those are the embossing powders I recently bought that I wanted to share with you guys and the stamps that I used is this one and and I got these from Hobby Lobby this one I like the happy birthday it has that cute little candle but you know just for those who may ask so yeah I would definitely recommend let's stay focused those embossing powders all right, is there anything else that 
because I'm always forgetting something. I think that pretty much sums up everything I wanted to share with you guys today. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, yeah, so be safe out there, guys. And uh, I'll chat with you guys soon. Bye, guys.